This week, Tillamook invited me to make a recipe using one of their dairy products. So I chose their white chocolate raspberry swirl ice cream and added my lovely Lady Cakes twist by turning it into a Simafrito. All right, let's begin on the white chocolate raspberry Simafrito. Simafrito just means semi-frozen dessert. And I'm just gonna be taking about a cup of the white chocolate raspberry Tillamook ice cream. What I love about Tillamook ice cream is that it's almost like a gelato. They whip less air into their ice cream and it's just so creamy and thick, I love it. All right, so just let your ice cream melt and grab yourself another bowl because we'll be adding two eggs and one egg yolk and then three fourths cup of sugar. Let's just go into the kitchen and put this over our double boiler. All right, double boiler time. It just means a pot. We're gonna add a little bit of water, maybe three to four cups in there. Add your egg mixture right on top of there. And then we want the water to simmer. And then while that's happening, we take our handheld mixer and mix away about three to four minutes. That's right, we're back outside. Now we're gonna actually mix this for another three to four minutes. Get to it. Oh my, this looks beautiful. You know when it's done, when it's kind of doubled in size, it's turned a pale color and it's thick like this. It's really beautiful. Okay, setting this off to the side because now we're gonna whip fresh whipped cream. When I'm working outside, I like to get my stainless steel bowl nice and cold by putting it in the freezer before we whip this cream. What you'll need is one and one half cups of heavy whipping cream. All right, so here's the fun part. We're gonna be taking our egg mixture we just blended up and folding it into the whipped cream. And lastly, we need to add in our melted Tillamook ice cream right into the whipped cream. So now we're just folding these ingredients together, giving them some love with a little twist of the wrist. You don't wanna put too much violent whisking in there. All right, so I just lined it with some saran wrap so it's gonna be really easy to pull out once it's frozen. And now we're just gonna layer one layer of the Simifrito down. All right, so I just took out the first layer because I want to layer it up with some fresh raspberries and then top it off with our leftover Simifrito mixture here. You can't have ice cream without a cone, so I figured let's garnish this Simifrito with this waffle cone. Just crunch it up in your hand. Put it right on top. All right, let's go freeze this. I can't wait to serve it to my family. Uh-oh, they're gonna want seconds. I should have made two. Yeah, they love it. This ice cream is amazing. Just as Tillamook says, doing things the right way, the Tillamook way. I would say that way brought a lot of happiness to this family.